And Commissioner, uh, my congratulations firstly to both the rapporteurs for their excellent work. Uh, whilst I welcome the Commission's overall plans to increase investment in EU external action in the new MFF round, I'm a little skeptical about further increasing IPA funds. As part of effort, I've had opportunity to join missions to pre-accession states. The issue that has struck me whenever I've visited has been the limited um, absorption capacity for funding in some of these states. Therefore, my questions to the commissions are, firstly, Commissioner Hahn, I hope you're listening, how is DG Near, in this case also IPA3, taking the absorption capacity of accession countries into account? Secondly, as we've just heard, Parliament voted to suspend accession negotiations with Turkey. Given that Turkey is by far the largest IPA beneficiary, how will suspension of talks affect IPA disbursements? And thirdly, in contrast to other accession countries, public perception of EU in Serbia is far from enthusiastic. Instead, Russian and Chinese investments are greatly overestimated. Before committing more funding, how do we first of all ensure clear visibility for the EU's engagement in Serbia? Thank you.